What's up everybody? Breaver here and today yes, we are finally going to take a look at this the Dart Zone Adventure Force Nexus Pro X. Now, when the original Nexus came out, it was a big game changer. It was the first commercially available competitive style blaster that we were able to get in stores. Now, that was a big game changer, not to mention all of the kits and parts that came out for this thing made it such a utility blaster. It was ridiculous. But Dart Zone decided, you know what? This was great. How do we make it better? Life is good, but it can be better. And this is what they came out with. So as with any review we do here on the channel, I'm going to take we're going to take a look at the aesthetics of the blaster, how it works and what it comes with. I'm going to take it over to the workbench and open it up and see what makes this bad boy tick. Then I will give you my final thoughts, and maybe throw some FPS at you. So, and I did purchase this with my own money. So as always with any review on this channel, whether sent to me or purchased, all of my opinions are my own, which is why I don't get a lot of sponsorships, but that's an, that's something for another day. <laughs> anyway, so this is a pump action Springer blaster. So to utilize it, hold the front grip, pull it back, push it forward, pull the trigger. That's how it works. Uh, going over the aesthetics of the blaster, <laughs> I really like it. Uh, it comes in, it comes natively in purple, which I absolutely love. Um, it does have, um, I'm hoping this is a panel, um, and, you know, maybe somebody will maybe do stuff with it or not, but either way, it does have uh, this giant, I want to say, I want to say panel, but it basically is like a giant nameplate on the side here, and it does match both sides with this orange and best I can describe, 80s camo, which I'm guessing is an homage to the original Nexus Pro, uh, the Nexus Pro blasters, because the original one was orange, and then they came out with a weird 80s style, like, um, camo one, so there's that. Um, but yeah, so starting from the back of the blaster, you do have an M4 style buffer tube, one, it comes with a stock, which I gotta say, ain't too bad, but it does give me um, some uh, scar vibes, if you know what I mean. But you have the buffer tube here, so you're able to replace this with whatever airsoft, real steel, M4 style um, stock you would like to do on it. It does have the quick access spring uh, piece on the back, so just like the original one. You don't have to take this thing apart to get to the spring if you need to swap it out or add a spacer or something to it. Right here, boom, you're done. Um, moving on to the grip, one thing that they did do a little differently over the original is, and actually, uh, I will say Game Face was the first ones to do this with the try-on. You are able to remove this grip, and if you want, replace it with a M4 AR style pistol grip. So if you're into Airsoft or if you are familiar with Airsoft uh, parts, you can swap this out and get a different grip, something a little bit more to your liking or whatnot. I have to say, the grip itself is not bad. I do like it. Um, it's perfect size, really. The one thing I will say I'm not a big fan on is this, uh, the X logo that's on here is molded into the grip here. and I will say, like, the points in the X are a little sharp. Uh, not very detrimental, but it's just one of those things of, like, if they weren't there, I'd like this a lot more. Uh, but sticking with the trigger area, you do have the safety here, just like the original. Your trigger and your magazine releases, which are a little different, because this, unlike the original, is half dart only. You cannot use full darts with full size darts with this, only half darts. But you have two options of being able to <laughs> remove your magazines 
One is this little mini trigger here where if you just pull it back, you drop your magazine. Or you have the paddle, which is right up here, so push it and grab. So push it and grab, there you go. And while we're on the subject, you notice I'm able to do this without having to prime the blaster because this does have, excuse me, this does have a skinny pusher in it. So you do not have to worry about priming your magazine or priming your blaster in order to remove your magazine. Uh, so that is definitely something I'm very, I'm very happy with because it's just, it makes life a lot easier. Um, also, also note this does have slam fire. So in other words, if you hold the trigger, pull back, as soon as you push forward, the blaster will fire. So maybe it's a good thing they put the uh, skinny pusher in here because you wouldn't be able to deprime the blaster with the, uh, if you, if you had to prime it in order to remove your magazines. Uh, switching to the top of the blaster real quick, uh, does come with a faux scope, and I believe this is the same scope, or if not same style, that came with the Adventure Force Spectrum. Uh, there is nothing special about it. It is just molded plastic with a crosshair, uh, down the center of it. It doesn't have any lights. It doesn't have any glass in it or ply or lens of any kind. It's just the crosshair, so... There is that, but one thing is great is there is full Picatinny rail on the top here. You don't have to worry about having to get a riser or anything. It's all one level, which is great. You also have a iron sight on the front here. And I want to say, I think this is very reminiscent to the original one that came on the Nexus. I'm not 100% sure. You can put it on either way. Um, I actually prefer it, and I don't care if it is wrong or not. But I prefer it this way just because the slope on the front here matches the slope on the front there. Sometimes it is just about the aesthetics. But with it like this and utilizing the crosshair scope, I mean, I get a good sight profile on it. So I'm happy with it the way it is. Now, moving to the barrel of the blaster, you will notice that there is this orange piece here. That is actual side rail, unlike the original. You have this, so if you want to mount a laser or scope to it, you can't. And I will talk about this in a moment because we're moving to the front of the blaster. And yes, this is not a second barrel. This is actually the injected molded scar barrel that Dart Zone did release. So you have a place to store it up here, and which is perfectly fine. And it holds really well. Like It's a very good friction fit. It doesn't scratch at all, but it holds really nicely, and I'm very happy with that. Now, on this side, you'll notice that there is this here, and yes, this piece does come off, so it's not permanently attached, and it's not screwed. It's just a sliding on piece, but you will notice this. Yes, this is the bearing scar, and yes, if it's there, that's what this is actually for, although if you wanted to, you, if you found one thin enough that would hold, you could probably put a flashlight in here, but the point of this piece is to actually hold the bearing scar because it does not fit where the other one does. It's just the geometry doesn't work. So there's that. And if you wanted to swap out the barrels or do anything like that, you can just easily remove this front piece here. It's two screws on this side and two screws on that side. So, oh, and just real quick, I want to talk about this angled front grip. I love it. This is probably one of the most comfortable angled foregrips I've used in probably quite some time. It works perfectly fine if you just want to wrap your hand around the front of it and use it. Uh, if you wanted to wrap your whole hand around it, you can, and it's not at an awkward angle where it's like straight or just slightly askew, because uh, I believe the uh, the original Dart Zone Pro front grip actually matches what was originally on the Nexus. And yes, if you're wondering, yes, this is my uh, the 
front grip for my Tryon because my Tryon has a different grip and that will be another video. But anyway, so yeah. Oh, and I just want to talk about the magazines real quick. Um, so originally the Nexus Pro had a 15 dart full length magazine and a 15 dart half length magazine. And ha by half length, I mean the darts. Uh, this does come with two half dart magazines, which is great. But for some reason, they decided to reduce the capacity on it. So the original magazines all held 15. The standard talent is 15. I don't know why they've knocked these down to 12. I, I, I don't understand why. But there's that. So that covers everything in regards to what I wanted to do at this point. So now let's just go over to the workbench open this bad boy up and let's see what's inside of him as always i've already unscrewed everything so we should be able to get right in there a uh, couple of things i do want to note first off on the front grip there's actually a uh roller on it for assisting assistance with priming that's actually really cool and as i had mentioned earlier in regards to the being able to use uh m4 ar uh, grips on here there is your um, the uh, port where you have to actually screw your grip into it so if you didn't want to use this you could use that uh, also didn't want to just denote a little bit different in this uh, the spring guide is that um, yeah, this is the spring guide, and you can actually switch it out. I didn't realize there's actually a screw on the back here. So, yeah, um, you could actually swap that out if you wanted to. I have to tighten mine down. Uh, also, on the stock, I happen to notice that here you have some holes, which I believe are actually for sling points. So, you can actually put sling points on here so with all of that oh and of course if you want to use something else there is Picatinny rail under where the grip is so you can use whatever grip you really want so I believe I actually have ah dang it so they did continue one thing with the Nexus Pro they have the clips here so you just have to be careful popping those out when you're opening. And obviously, if you open, the more you open it, the easier that will get. But that's not always necessarily a good thing. Uh, but come on, I know I got everything. Oh no! Yeah, I got everything. Ha ha! Um, oh sh. Okay, so there's your Slamfire mech. And here we have the internals. Um, I'm going to say, obviously you can see the difference between this and the uh, Nexus for sure. Uh, it looks like if you wanted to... Oh, it does have two uh, magazine clips in here. So this is not only talent compatible but it is also um it is also uh katana compatible which is the geometry i believe darts don't actually used for theirs so there is that um up here we have your what's supposed to be the uh plunger release uh in case there's a jam or something i don't know if it ever actually worked i know on mine those always came out here you have your safety, so if you wanted to delete that, either just pull it out or we'd have to shave off some of the components on it. Uh, your trigger is right here, and it looks like the trigger spring is underneath. Well, let me actually take out the catch so I don't lose that. Uh, this looks like it'd be your slam fire um, piece, or actually, actually no, that is your... That's actually a trigger lock. So 
think. Looks like a trigger lock, but I'll take that out one way or another. It might it might be the uh, slam fire piece. Oh, I have it locked. That's why it wasn't working. Because I'm an idiot. Uh, definitely feel the trigger spring underneath there. I don't want to take that. <gasps> Wait. Okay, so Christmas may have come early. Give me one second. Okay, so glory of glories. If you wanted to, this, I was right, this is a panel. You can take this off if you just want an all purple blaster now granted yeah it's may not be the best looking thing but maybe if you have some friends who have 3d print printers and, and and you're really nice to them now to me now to me that's not that's not now to me sign them all now to me and maybe you call in a favor and throw them a couple of bucks their way maybe they'll make a vector of this and just reprint this for you and then you could just have a blank sleet and you could just put it in here and bam, super customizable uh, panels for your Nexus Pro. Honestly, I think that would be freaking dope. Um, so yeah, all my friends who have 3D printers, <laughs> guess what I'm gonna be asking for. Um, okay, but that's besides the point, so. I'm sorry, I just, I saw that and I got very excited. So, getting into the actual blaster itself. Um, I'll have to put those back on for final shot anyway. Uh, it looks like the front end is potentially screwed in. And it looks like it is the two screws that are on this side along with two screws on the other side. So that is how you would be able to swap out the front piece and for all intents and purposes let me just see if i can get them out real there we go uh yeah four screws the uh the front comes out and like the original dart zone there is a stop for the barrel so if you did per chance want to switch this out you would have to ream out the front of this if you wanted to actually put in a new barrel. Or, as I had said earlier, people have already started coming out with parts for this. I mean, I, I'll admit I am a little late to the review, but um, you'll be able to definitely uh, get replacement front ends of this. And you'll be able to uh, put longer barrels on and all of that good stuff. So there's that very nice and easy. And here you can see the actual air delivery for the uh, new system here and I want to take that out that's not screwed in no. why is that not popping out Hmm. Well, regardless, the way this one works is you have the plunger here, which you have the plunger here, which is obviously what will get caught. So that, and you have to. I don't know why this is not coming out. I'll, I will be 100% honest. I am not 100% sure why this is. Oh, I see why. No. No, I don't. Yeah, I will be perfectly honest. I'm not 100% sure why that's not coming out. Um, I'm not worried about it because obviously I'm not swapping anything out at this point in time. Um, but yeah, the plunger and the dart breach are all 
it's an all-in-one component, which is interesting. So, I mean, you're going to get basically, you have really no travel. That's wild. You really have like no travel for the air to uh, breach or air to dart. Like, it's like literally, that's the travel. The... The plunger will, you know, goes here, you lock it in, and instead of the plunger feeding into, like, a breach, a, a breach itself, it literally delivers it straight to the dart. Like, there's no wasted airspace. I think that's where, why this is able to do so much better than the original. And if I am wrong, please someone in the comments correct me, but God damn, that's actually really freaking smart. Yes, and I agree, Cass. Dang it. So, yeah, that's... I gotta say, I'm, I'm really impressed with that. So that explains where, you know, you're able to get your air volume and all that. Why, why you're able to get that out of basically kind of a similar to almost smaller package. That, that's ingenious. See, this is why smarter people than me build these things. And I just screw with them after the fact. <laughs> um, don't worry, I saved it. So, yeah, I'm going to play around with that like later on. Um, I'm just going to put this thing back together and we'll figure out, um, we'll see what my final thoughts is on this, which if you haven't figured out, I'm going to be pretty stoked on it. But yeah, give me a minute to get this all together. I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Nexus Pro X. If you haven't been able to tell by now, I really do like it. Uh, there's a lot of pros going for this thing, and honestly, anything I say in regards to a con can either be fixed um, cosmetically through 3D printing or by switching out a part, literally. Um, overall, this is a great platform, especially for the price. It's $50 retail US. Um, it's available on Walmart. It's available on Walmart.com. I know that for a fact because that's where I got mine before it went on store shelves. And it really did improve every, basically almost any gripe in regards to this was fixed with this. The fact that it's half dart only. The fact that it has a skinny pusher. Um, the fact that it has a full top rail on it is amazing. It also comes with the Injected molded scar and a bearing scar. Now the different, there is a difference here, so bear with me one moment. You can order directly from Dart Zone this set alone, the the scar set, for twenty dollars, which essentially makes this a thirty dollar blaster. The difference being is though the one I ordered, the set that I ordered from Dart Zone had metal bearings in it or metal bearing wheels. This has plastic bearing wheels, so. Take that for what it is. But over and all, this has a much more comfortable angled stock. Um, I would not swap this out. I really do like it. The side panels, like I said, you can utilize them for whatever you want. Um, an additional vertical or horizontal grip, whatever you want to put on it. Light, light or laser, great. Uh, we know the top will work with, you can switch out your sights so you don't have to use the fake ones that came with the blaster. Although, like I said, they are serviceable. Your magazines. You don't want to use 12 rounds? Fine. You don't have to use 12 rounds. You can use 15, 20, use the Tachi, you know, use the easy drum. It should work. So you, you aren't happy with 12 rounds in your uh, magazine? If you already have a Talon, which I'm sure most of us do. You're already up three darts at that point. The magazine releases are honestly fine, although I do want to find a way to just remove it and just have this, very similar to how I set up my long shot where it's just the one front uh, thing. The grip, 
it's serviceable. I can use it. It's not bad. I don't like the X molded into it. I can swap it out very easily. Not a problem. But this is not a game changer. Same thing with the stock. It looks like an Ugg boot, like on the Scar. But it's fine. It's serviceable. And it is also two-toned. and matches the blaster very, very lovely. Um, and even the front, even this front, you want to put a longer barrel on it because you put a heavier spring in it. Not a problem. They're already 3D printed uh, parts very similar to the long shot where you have the nut on the front that you can just uh, loosen it, swap your barrels out for quick and easy, uh, for to have it be quick and easy like that. So there's that. So, I mean, overall, 50 bucks and also the increase in FPS. This was originally... Uh, sold at being at claims of 150 f uh, 150 fps which it actually did pretty well out of the box this advertises at 200 so one that's insane because i mean i have some stuff on this wall that won't even hit 200 and they're severely modified but this 200 out of the box without the scar barrels yes it actually does hit that which is insane. So, yeah, if you're wondering, should I get this? Yes. Yes, you should. Because even if you prefer something like an SBL or Caliburn or the Worker Seagull or Harry or something like that, you want, you know, you want that just, that, I don't want, I can't even say like, you know, I'm failing at words here and I'm sorry, but, like, if you want to go for that level of competitiveness, go right ahead. $50. This is a great loner blaster. You have a friend who's getting into the hobby, get him one of these. You know, he wants to just try something out, get one of these. You know, you have, friend, you have friends coming over. There you go. So, there you go. That's going to be it for this video, and as always, if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think of the Nexus Pro X, and do you like the improvements on this over the original? Uh, let us know down in the comments, we love reading them all, and ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon, otherwise you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel, and don't forget, we do have the P.O. Box, snail mail, just saying, throwing it out there, reminders, but again, Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you guys next time. Later.